Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be swatching and trying on every single shade from Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty Kind Words Lipstick and Lip Liner Collection. We've got every shade and I'm so excited to film this video. As soon as this PR mailer came in, I knew I wanted to do a full video dedicated to trying on every single shade. I actually have already opened up this box because I truly could could not wait to see all the different shades. I haven't actually swatched any of them, but I wanted to see the packaging and the color range. And they are some of the most beautiful, neutral, flattering lip colors I feel like I've ever seen as far as like a full line goes. So I'm really excited to open this up. I'll have all the shades on the screen here so you know what shade I'm swatching as I go, as well as links to everything down below in the description box. If you guys are new here, I do beauty reviews, fashion hauls, all the things. So be sure to hit the subscribe button if this is something that you're interested in. But let's go ahead and get into the PR mail. So I don't even know how I got lucky enough to be on the Rare Beauty PR mailer But I have gotten quite a few of their launches But this one I think by far might be my favorite launch of all time I have been so obsessed with lip products lately It's one of those things that I will make sure I have a lip product on before I even add mascara these days I feel like my go-to products have been a blush and then a lip product And so this line guys is so beautiful Beautiful. I love all the packaging that Selena does when you open it up. We've got the very large Informational pamphlet that comes with the box. This is called the kind words collection and with every single shade of lipstick There is a matching liner, which I think is just brilliant So you can mix and match the liner lipsticks or you can wear them together with the same shades this is just the pamphlet and stunning stunning images Selena Gomez is an icon and I'm obsessed with her. The lip liners are $15, the lipsticks are $20. They are Smooth Glide Ultra Creamy Matte Color or Waterproof, Won't Smudge or Feather or Fade. That's the liners. And then they come complete with a built-in sharpener. I didn't know that. And then the matte lipstick is High Pigment One Swipe Color. Cushiony, comfortable, all day wear, weightless with a soft matte finish. One thing that I love about this pamphlet is that it's like a matte feel to it so it really is just like so luxurious feeling all the fun images and then i don't know if there's another page oh there is like look how pleasing this photo is so many beautiful neutrals and that was one thing that i was so excited about this line specifically is that there really aren't any shades in this line that i'm like i would not wear that honestly every single shade from this collection i feel like is something that i would wear and i feel like a lot of times when brands launch lipstick lines there's tons of like fuchsia pinks and kind of purpley shades and I just don't really gravitate towards those and so a lot of times when brands send an entire line there are a handful of shades that I end up not keeping I give away and honestly I can kind of tell by this shade range right here with the liners that I'll probably end up keeping all of these shades and end up wearing them throughout the year so there are one two three four ten shades of each liner and lipstick so we're just gonna start go from left to right First shade is Talented, and we're gonna get up close and personal for these swatches. So this is the actual lip liner. This is the shade Talented, and it's this really pretty kind of light nude shade. It says there's a built-in sharpener. Is it in the back? There it is. Built-in sharpener here, and they're actually a twist-up liner instead of an actual wood pencil that you have to sharpen. So the sharpener is just for precision, but you don't have to have that sharpener with you because you can just twist it up. I actually prefer a twist-up liner over an actual pencil. I feel like they're just easier to use. So this is the first shade here. This is the shade Talented, and I have been moisturizing my lips nonstop for the last couple of days knowing that I was going to put on 10 different shades of lipsticks and liners. So this is my natural lip shade. I did have a lip balm on, but that will get wiped off as we go. So this is the first shade. It's really light. All right, so this is just the liner by itself. Honestly, a lot of times I'll wear a liner over a lip balm and I'll just kind of like 
smudge it out with my lips and I think it's a really really natural look if you don't want to do the whole full matte lipstick look you can line your lips go over the entire lip and then apply a clear gloss over it or a sheer gloss and that's a really pretty look I'm gonna apply the lipstick now this is in the same shade so this is shade talented this is the packaging of the lipsticks and you click it down here to open up the tube like this and it's a really pretty casing and you've got the lipstick so this is such a beautiful beautiful neutral i'm just genuinely so excited about all of these shades because i know they're so wearable so this is the first shade and i love this so much on my skin tone. I think this is the perfect neutral. It leans a little bit like peachy, a little bit orangey to me. Definitely not pink, not purple at all. And I just really like this shade. It almost matches my bronzer shade that I have on. And it is so flattering on the skin. I love that you can wear the bold lipstick but it doesn't feel like it's too much. It still feels very natural. So this shade I'm obsessed with. So basically my lips are gonna hate me after this is done. <laughs> but I really wanted to try on all of the colors because I feel like in the past I've done swatches on like my wrist or my hand and I feel like it's a little bit more helpful seeing it actually on. So I've got this powder here to do touch-ups as I go. I'm not gonna show you guys this every time I do it, but this is how we're prepping for the next shade. Next shade is Creative. It looks like this is more of a peachy nude as well, but a little bit of a deeper shade. So again, you've got the twist up. This is the liner and we're just gonna line the bottom. I like to overline the bottom, but keep the top pretty true to my actual lip shade. I would say this one is actually pretty close to my natural lip color, but with a little bit more of a peachy tone, but still very similar like depth of shade. This is the lipstick. Oh guys seeing these colors so beautiful neutral usable all right so this is the lipstick a little bit more true to matteness because that first shade that i applied was over the lip oil that I had applied earlier just to like moisturize my lips knowing that I was doing this. I love the shade of this. It is a matte formula, so it definitely is slightly drying. It has a little bit of that cushiony, creamy feel to it, but honestly, I feel like I would still wear some sort of lip balm to prep my lips underneath this or some kind of like lip oil, but it is such a flattering shade. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how I'm gonna pick a favorite because so far, as far as I can tell, they're all gonna be really flattering on. This one is a little bit more of a peachy tone than the previous shade, but I still think it's so wearable and user-friendly. Next up, we have got the shade, what are you? Lively. This one is more of a pink tone to it. It's still a lighter shade. So if you have light to light medium skin tone, it's gonna be really, really pretty on you. Gosh, they did something right with the shade range. All of these shades, even though they have slightly different undertones or they lean more pink or more coral there's not really any shade that leans too far to the point where it's just like stark pink every single shade looks really really beautiful and almost enhancing to your natural lip color i love the fact too that they have the same color liner as the lipstick because you can apply it underneath the lipstick and have an all day wear with the lipstick on top of it so it just makes the color last a lot longer and seriously Every single shade is so flattering and so pretty. So this one is a little bit more vibrant than the other ones, as you can tell. You could, you know, make it a little bit more subtle by just doing the liner and a gloss or doing the lipstick and almost like patting on the lips instead of doing a full swipe on the lips. I 
do think that this is a really fun summer shade. This is a little bit more vibrant, but you're not going for like a bold pink lip. I think it's super, super flattering on if you have been wanting to go just slightly bolder in your lip color, but you don't want to commit to like a full vibrant lip. This is a beautiful middle ground between a neutral lip and a pink lip. This next shade is Worthy. This is still a lighter shade, but it has more of a mauve purple undertone. So you can't really tell all that well with the liner, but you can kind of see here in the color swatch. Again, and this would be a really pretty shade if you have light to light medium skin. I would say of all of them, this one is actually pretty dang close to my actual lip color. This is just the liner. It's so flattering again. I feel like every single one of these shades is enhancing whatever natural lip color that you have. This is the lipstick and it's almost coming off less purpley in the lipstick than it did in the liner. But again, it's not really like purple, if that makes sense. All of these undertones are extremely, extremely subtle. They're actually really close together. I think after I put all of these on my lips, I'm gonna swatch every one of them on my arm in the same order so that you can see they really just vary ever so slightly. All right, now that it's on, you can see that it does have just the slightest bit of a cooler undertone than the previous shades. Still so natural, really not far off from my actual lip color. Next shade is the shade Humble. This one again has those mauve slightly purple undertones. Again, it's still probably best if you have lighter skin to light medium to medium skin. And then there are some darker shades that were about to get into but this one again just looks really similar to the other ones which is why i want to swatch them after because i'm like they can't all be the same shade but every shade is showing up just really really naturally on the lips so i'm really excited to swatch them all side by side which is probably what i should have done first but we'll do it after this this shade, again, so flattering. I definitely feel like if you have medium skin tone, this is a really great shade. It can definitely go built up and be a little bit more bold. You could wear this a lot lighter as well. I love the way that this looks on. And then this is the shade Humble in the lipstick. Super, super flattering, every single shade. I just feel like it's not that often you find a lipstick line where you like and could see yourself wearing legitimately every single shade. That's so pretty. I don't even know where to start with like my favorite shade. So far, I've loved every single shade that I've tried and I can see myself wearing every single shade on the regular. So I don't know, I don't know if I can pick a favorite for this line. My lips are very angry at me right now for doing this. Next shade is the shade Fun and we are slowly getting into the deeper shades here. It looks like this one has Again, maybe like an orangey undertone. All of them are literally so close. I am starting to be like, is this a different shade at this point? This one is more of like a brick, I would say. And here we're getting a little bit deeper too in the shade range. I hate to say it, but it's so flattering. Fun is so beautiful. This is just the liner. Every dang shade, guys. Whew, I don't know how you're gonna pick a shade because I'm having a really hard time right now. The lipstick. Gorgeous, definitely a little bit deeper than the other previous shades. Super, super creamy. That is gorgeous. It definitely has kind of like a reddish, orangish, orangish undertone to it. So pretty on the skin. This one is a little bit deeper. You can see the shades are getting a little bit darker and this would be such a beautiful fall winter color if you have like paler skin or if you have deeper skin. I think we're getting into the shade range that would be just beautiful on your type of skin. This is so pretty though. And again, it just like really enhances the rest of the makeup. It really plays off well with like a bronzy face. I love it. Next up is the shade Wise, and this one I'm so excited about. It feels like a really beautiful neutral brown. Definitely a deeper shade, but I think this is gonna be so, so pretty on. With the deeper shades, I have to get more careful with how I'm lining my lips here. A little bit more accurate. All right, do not judge my application. 
We are seven shades in, so it's getting a little sloppy at this point. This is just the liner, a really beautiful, bold, neutral shade. This would be so pretty in the fall with like bare skin. I think this would be such a beautiful, bold lip color. Selena's been doing a lot of more like bold lips with her skin tone and it's so pretty. But also if you have like medium to deeper skin, I think this would be a gorgeous color on you. That is a beautiful, beautiful, deep neutral color. Oh, that's so pretty. And again, you can always lighten it up with any type of gloss over it, but I just love how beautiful and dramatic this lip color is without it being too red or too purple. Three more shades, we can do this. My lips are literally like so irritated. Next shade is the shade Bold. This one looks like a brick. Red. So this is gonna be a really, really deep red shade. It looks really gorgeous. This would be a really fun holiday color. Wow, that is so vibrant and gorgeous. It's actually showing up way more vibrant on camera than it is in person. So it, it really does appear a little bit more muted in person. So just keep that in mind. But this is the lipstick. Oh, she's pretty. Yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous red without it being too like ba bam If you are scared of red lipsticks, this is a really, really pretty option. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I feel like that's the perfect red for someone who never wears a red lipstick because they're always way too vibrant and bold. This is a really, really great way to like ease into that red lip. We are officially in the two deepest shades of the lipstick and liners. This is the shade Gifted. It looks like this really, really deep neutral brown. This one is gonna be much, much bolder on my skin, but if you have deeper skin, again, these are gonna be so stunning on you. I gotta start being really careful and precise on this lining now. Woo! That is actually gorgeous. I really wasn't sure if this one was gonna work for me because it's a lot darker, but I think that's so pretty. Oh, I don't know how Selena did it, but every single shade is so good. This is the lipstick and she is bold and beautiful. Wow, this is so pretty though. Like even though it's really dark and bold, it doesn't really lean any direction as far as like color. You're not like, oh, she's wearing a bold red lip or she's wearing a bold purple lip. It still is really, really neutral. And I just love that with every shade, deeper they go, they're still really, really wearable. Every shade is so wearable. Obviously this might be a little bit too bold for some of y'all, but for me personally, because it still stays kind of in that neutral zone, it's not too pink, it's not too purple, it's not too red. I still feel like it's really, really flattering on me. I don't know how she did it. Okay, last shade. This is the shade Strong. And if I like the way that this shade looks on me, this will seriously be the first line of lipsticks where I've liked every single shade. I don't think that's ever happened before. This one is deep and I have a feeling it might be a little dark on me. I don't think I've ever worn a shade quite this dark before, but they've been surprising me. So here we go. Okay, for me personally, I don't see myself wearing this shade. I think it's a little bit obviously too dark for my skin, but nine out of 10 shades, that's really, really good. So honestly, you could probably find at least five shades out of this range that you really like. I feel like they just nailed all the shades. I'm doing the lipstick because we're committed to all 10 of these shades. This is the lipstick, by the way. Obviously, not my shade. However, I will say, for a shade that is this deep, they still nailed the tone of the shade. It doesn't lean too far cool or really too far warm. It's right down the middle, which I think is really impressive. All of these shades are 
really, really versatile. So they definitely have something for everyone. I would say not every shade is for everyone. A lot of the shades, I feel like you could at least find three that work for you. But the fact that they made a shade range where you could have really, really fair skin and find a really flattering shade, but also have really deep skin and find a flattering shade is incredible. And that they all are very flattering on. Nothing leans too far one way or the other, I think is really, really impressive. All right, here we go. Time to let my lips rest. <laughs> All right, I'm going to apply the shade Creative just to have on. This one stuck out to me when I tried it on the first time. I am now going to flip you guys around so you can see all of the shades swatched side by side. And I think I'm gonna do all of the liners first and then I'll do all of the lipsticks. enjoyed seeing all of the swatches on me and my skin. I hope it was helpful. Maybe you have a similar skin tone to me and it helped you pick out which shade to get. I will have the lipsticks down below in the description box if you want to check out the lipsticks and the liners. And if you liked this video and you found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you end up grabbing any of the Rare Beauty lipsticks or liners. And if you are new here and you want to stick around for some more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you back on my channel and I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon.